In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HCN plus KOH. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation, and this is the molecular equation. Thankfully, it's already balanced, so that's done. Then we need to write the state for each substance. So we want to know if these are going to be soluble in water. So we take a look here. This is a table of common acids, strong and weak acids. And we see, we're looking down here, and we don't see HCN as a strong acid. We don't see it as a weak acid, but if it's not on this list, it's a weak acid. Because of that, when we do net ionic equations, we do not split apart weak acids. That means that this will dissociate a little bit, but not very much. So we're going to just say that this is going to be a liquid. So it's not going to dissociate. KOH, though, that is a strong base. Because of that, it's going to dissolve in water. It's going to dissociate into its ions. We're going to call it aqueous. For KCN, we need to think about our solubility rules. Compounds that have potassium, group 1 element here, those are almost always soluble. So this is actually going to be a soluble compound. It'll dissolve. And then water, that is a liquid. So those are the states for HCN plus KOH. So we've got the states, and it's really important to understand when something's going to be strong or weak, because when it's weak, like this weak acid or a weak electrolyte, it won't dissociate into its ions, and it stays as a liquid in this case. For the strong electrolytes now, we're going to split those apart. We said HCN is not a strong electrolyte, so we're just going to keep that as HCN. And I'm not going to write the states until the end. We'll put those when we're done. Plus, we said this is aqueous. It's going to dissolve or dissociate. Group 1 element here with potassium, that has a 1 plus charge. The hydroxide, that has a 1 minus charge. So we have K plus, which will be aqueous, plus the hydroxide ion. That's our OH minus. That'll also be aqueous. Those are the reactants. For the products, said this was plus, minus, and that's a liquid. We won't split that apart. We have K plus plus the cyanide ion, Cn minus, plus H2O. That's the water. So this is what we call the complete or total ionic equation. Once we have that, we can cross out these spectator ions. Those are ions that appear on both sides. They haven't changed in the chemical reaction, and we're really not interested in those. So I see in the reactants, I have this K plus, the potassium ion. I have it in the products. Cross it out. What else do I have? That really looks like the only thing that is the same on both sides. So this is the net ionic equation. Let me clean this up and add the states in. And we end up with this HCN liquid plus the hydroxide ion gives us the cyanide ion plus water. So this is the net ionic equation for HCN plus KOH. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.